Hello everyone, welcome to the actual first proper update for my uh, model railway. Still doesn't have a name, but I'm working on it. As you can see, I have baseboards all the way around. This took a lot longer than expected, um, and it's not perfect. It's, uh, it is level, but something strange happened, as you can see here. Uh, this space board is higher than this one by about a centimeter. Um, don't know how that happened, but uh, which means actually there like, should be a steady incline. I've checked it; it is all level. Uh, and so, what I'm going to do to fix that, rather than going through everything and because um, it's all screwed to the wall and to each other. You can see there's a little bit of a gap, but as you can see, there's a cork going down, so it shouldn't really matter. Uh, this is my first actual attempt at a proper model railway, so I'm going to be learning. Um, I'm learning from my own mistakes, errors, and all that good stuff. Forgive the mess, I am still organising things. I've got all my shelves down there. I do need to put shelves along here for my figures, because this is a uh, dual-purpose room. Uh, it's a workshop and model railway. Um, people probably say don't make rooms dual purpose because then you end up doing neither. Uh, I don't have the room and I really wanted to model that way so and to be honest I can pull this desk out. I've got space over there when I've got rid of because after that is um, boxes that need to be flattened and taken to the tip. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of in here. It's just basically junk. Um, yeah. So what I was going to do originally was have this area here as a fiddle yard and then have a raised scenic section. But I think that might be overcomplicating things. So um, I'm probably just going to have this as a fiddle yard and then everything else scenic. Uh, just start off small and then I can expand it if I want to. I can take all that up. Uh, I can put a raised section above it. It's, nothing's really set in stone. You don't really, you do commit to things, but uh, I'm actually finding the track lane quite tedious. Uh, I could have just pinned it down to the board and have it done, but I wanted to follow some of the other model railwayers on YouTube and uh, follow their advice and their example and do cork. Uh, and wow, this is taking a while because basically, you have, oh, obviously, you have to cut it to length, which isn't it hard at all. Then you have to um, glue it down with uh, this stuff, copy decks, which when it dries it goes kind of what uh, it goes kind of like sticky and it's perfect for gluing cork to other things. You, you don't use, I think you can use PVA but PVA doesn't, um, it seeps through the cork I think. Uh, yeah, so the plan is to have two running lines, uh, one up, one down, and this section here will be a station. See by the nasty Hornby platform. Um, I'm planning to have all the buildings built out of either plastic kits or scenic scale scenes, um, which is a website where you can buy. Um, templates, like photo real templates, and then you print them off, I and mean, each of them are like five, like, I think the most expensive is like five ninety nine. but then you have to print them off yourself, so you have to pay for the ink, the the card, and then you glue it, the, glue it to the card, and then you assemble it like you would a normal uh, kit. Um, and the result is, I've seen some of them, I think, uh, what's that, what was it? Dean Park Station uses a lot of them, and uh, yeah, his stuff is very, very cool. I've got a bit of card, sorry, a bit of cork being glued down here. Uh, this is going to be a crossover for um, the two lines. And that's going to go here. It was going to go there, but um, yeah, and I am going to have to take up some of this track to add points, but I just want to get a running line around. I have had trains running around, as you can see by the intro clip. And I was just on this board. And that was a 
kit I bought a while ago. It's still, I've still got it all, um, but it's slowly falling apart. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, guess what's in the box? It's a Dalek dome. I got it off eBay for about fifty pounds. Um, um, you anything? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have. Uh, another idea I actually had about this section was to have it a scenic yard, but I don't think that's going to work because I've, I've got quite a mix. I'm not sticking to an era, as you can tell by the modernish diesel and the period coaches, and also the uh, steam train. Uh, so I'm just going to run whatever I like, talk to people on the, the Model Railway forum on uh, Facebook. They say basically do what you want. Uh, this digger and this digger sorry that's technically a bulldozer I think they are going to be part of a scrap yard and I need to get some symbols to put on here because they are going to be uh, constructor clones because yes I'm mixing a sci-fi element into my model railway there's going to be a little yard called scrapper's yard and it's going to have some construction vehicles with Decepticon symbols on and if I can find one, I want to have a yellow Volkswagen and some other nods to uh, Transformers. And where are they? Draw. Ah. Oh, these cool little guys. Um. So I've got a proper painted one. I might dot them around as well because I think they are. Let's just have a look. Here's the trunk. Nah, they're a bit big. They are actually quite big, but although, yeah, they could work. Oh, we, we, we don't want them dark any smaller. Yeah, they could work. I'll dot them around. Um, is that everything? Duck is on guard. Uh, I think that's everything. As I say, I'm quite finding it quite tedious. Things do work. That's just uh, one soldered connection, which I'm quite happy with. It's very responsive. That's the slowest it will go, or at least on the default settings. And you can see it is a little bit jerky. That should increase. That it should improve once I've added more dropper wise. Uh, the track I'm using is a mix of Code 100 Flexi Track and Set Track. I had a bit of a disaster with the uh, the Daleks up here. These are like the the not really important Daleks. Um, I was putting a baseboard back and I whacked a box from up there that took out this Dalek and took his head off and it actually, actually broke the thing, but his head does still stay on and you can close it. I don't really um, play with them, so they can stay there like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything I have to talk about in this update. Uh, hopefully going to do one of these updates every month or every other month. Um, I don't get a lot of time to do things nowadays, which is why there's not a lot of content on my channel anymore. Uh, yeah, so comments and suggestions are welcome. Uh, thank you very much for watching.